Yeah, no, just really excited for the boys. They've worked really hard. Um, really excited for them to come out and get the three points on the night, which we knew would be very valuable for us, and they deserve it. You know, they've worked extremely hard this season, and we've had some bumps along the way, and just really proud of the boys tonight, the way they were diligent going forward and, and taking their chances. What did you uh, tell them at halftime? That was a weird situation to go in 1-1, one, one, considering in the first 40 minutes, I don't even know if they crossed midfield. And then, how did you? What did you say to the guys? What did you see from them yeah. at the break? Yeah, no, you know, we wanted to not let their goal dictate how we were going to come out in the second half. Uh, nothing changed for us. Um, we understood that um, it was a little bit of a letdown, letting that goal go in before the half. Uh, but we understood too that it's time to turn the page and, and continue to push on and. As much as we felt we were in the in the match in the first half, we wanted to make sure that we came out with the same intensity um, and the same game plan to come out and push forward and 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 get to the end line and and turn them uh, to run towards their own goal and hopefully good things will happen for us. Um, what changes did you see tonight versus Georgetown that you kind of like seeing that allowed you guys to win? Um, you know, I, I felt at Georgetown as the chances started to come and we weren't being as clinical, I felt like we hesitated a little bit on the finish or, or ex the execution of the following attacking play. Um, and we worked on this week uh, making sure that we continue to be persistent in regards to whether or not we we're able to finish our chances, but we continue with the same confidence and with the same intent uh, to, to go into the box with conviction and try to finish our opportunities. It seemed like Jackson and Owen had a really strong match from start to finish, and they were really putting a lot of pressure on that. Uh, Left side. Right side. Um, was that tactical? Did you think you guys had an advantage with the combination that they were able to do against Villanova's back line? Yeah, I know Villanova does a great job at taking the central options away from you. Um, we knew this going into it, and so we understood that we might have a numbers advantage on the flanks, but we needed to take advantage of it quickly. Um, I thought Demo and, and, and Giorgio did a good job on the right, on our right. Uh, but you're right, in the first half, I thought Jackson and Owen had a very good understanding and, and, and put them under a lot of a lot of stress on their right side. Um, you also talked last week about how ever, they were trying to look always for the better pass. Did you think they kind of adjusted well tonight and kind of took what they were given? I think so. I think so. I think part of the, part of the challenge is, as, as, a, as a soccer player, you always feel there's a better pass to be had, right? Instead of just like you said, um, just play what, what's been given to you. Um, and we always talk about the game actually answering the questions for us or ask, asking us the questions, and we have to just play what's on and, 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 and do that. Although I will say Villanova made it extremely hard for us tonight. Um, I thought they came out in the second half and uh, spread us apart pretty good um, and, and broke us down. Um, and, um, but luckily for us, the ball rolled our way tonight, and we were able to come out with the three points in the Big East. Are Duncan, Owen, and Jackson aware of how many goals they have? Is this starting to become a little bit of a competition? You know, those guys are competitive, right? Yeah. And so, yeah, they understand that. I think, uh, what, what are they, six, six and seven? Yeah, it was six, six, and then Duncan was like, I'm taking it back. And yeah, yeah. No, and, you know, I'm so proud of him, too, because it, it's tough as a forward. You know, you're expected to score. You're expected to be dangerous, and you know as soon as you miss those opportunities, and I'm talk I'm pertaining to the the PK that that was saved at Georgetown, a very good save, even though he hit it well. Um, it just speaks volumes too to his teammates because his teammates said, "Hey, next time there's a PK, um, including Giorgio, um, who scored the last one, mm -hmm. said we want we want Duncan to to step back up to the plate." So I think it speaks volumes of the teammates and the type of group that we have, and great for Duncan to step up and bury that thing. You mentioned the three points, but I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory, but you don't want to be without three points, especially when you're playing home matches and, you know, you start to get later in the season, the pressure mounts. Just how important was it tonight to get the bag three and, at Morrison? Crucial. It was crucial. Um, we understood that tonight um, we had to make sure we came out and uh, give it our best shot to come out with three points at the end of the night, and I'm just – I'm just um, – Overjoyed for our guys and extremely proud of our guys for the way that they came out and performed. Congrats on the win. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, what was the mood like at halftime? You guys were up one nothing and dominated most of the first half, but went in one one. What, what, what did you? 
how did you guys come out in the second half? Um, I think we realized that we were dominating the game. Um, I think we were moving the ball really well across the top of the 18 and creating chances. And, you know, Johnny came in at halftime and said to keep the intensity up and keep the pressure on them. And I thought that we did that for a little bit in the first half. It, it was a little shaky. They came out really quick and were kind of down our throat a little bit. But I think we handled it and then kind of settled in. And then uh, from there, we just, you know, finished the game off strong. Uh, take me through your go-ahead goal. like. Seems like a little bit of a chaotic play. What did you see? Yeah, we work on it a bunch in practice, kind of just whipping balls into that area where it's just bouncing and kind of just being scrappy. And, you know, I just was in the right place at the right time and kind of just did my job and put it away. And, you know, it was, it was nice. It was, good. it was good to get one. You did the gritty, too. <laughs> How would you grade your performance on that? Uh, we were joking about it all week at practice, and, uh, you know, we were just messing around. So I, I thought it was pretty good, but yeah, solid. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um, what, do you guys, what do you think you guys kind of did well to be able to convert and win in this match? Um, I think we stuck to the principles that we work on in practice a lot. I think we got to the end line a lot and kind of tried to get the ball back across the goal. and. Um, whether or not we scored goals that way today, I thought we did that really well and caused the team to really think and really, you know, defend that way. So I, I thought it was good that we played good together as a unit today. Um, there was also great ball movement, I noticed, throughout the whole match. I mean, just kind of talk us through. You got a lot of opportunities. What was that kind of going through? Um, yeah, we work on a lot of not always going at like one side, you know, kind of working it around and waiting for the best opportunity. And I thought we did that really well today. And, you know, it paid off in the end. So, yeah. yeah. Cool. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate yes. it. Thank you. Thank you.